From the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel, with the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents the Daily TV Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to the celebration of the daily televised Mass. I am Father Michael Coots, and we welcome you on this National Day, Canada Day. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contribution from three donors. The first is an anonymous donor from Lourdes, Newfoundland, for a family and friends that may be granted good health and happiness for, sick, for the sick and their caregivers for vocations and peace in the world. The second is an anonymous donor from Cape Brevet, Breton, Nova Scotia, in loving memory of his grandmother, Mary. The third are Mary and their family from Mississauga, Ontario, in loving memory of her dear fa husband and their father, Gordon, who died on May the 8th, 2018. He is always in their heart and is greatly missed. May he rest in peace. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. On the 1st of July in 1867, the British North America Act, known today as the Constitution Act of 1867, created Canada. And since July the 1st, 1868, Canadians have gathered on this day to celebrate our country, which stretches from sea to sea to sea. We invite you to join us at the end of the Mass today in the Canadian National Anthem. And as we begin this, this Eucharist, one of gratitude for this wonderful country, we ask the Lord to forgive us our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, whose reign extends from sea to sea to sea, and to those who care, whose care endures through the ages, hear our prayers for our country, grant wisdom to those who govern it, and respect for human life and dignity of every citizen, so that justice may flourish and all peoples live in unity and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and governs with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, maintain justice and do what is right, for soon my salvation will come and my deliverance will be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord to minister to him, to love the name of the Lord and to be his servants, all who keep the Sabbath and do not profane it and hold fast my covenant, these I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. My soul longs, indeed it fades, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home 
and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young at your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Happy are those who live in your house, ever singing your praise. Behold our shield, O God, look on the face of your anointed. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Turn my heart to do your will. Teach me your law, O God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then bega Jesus began to speak, and he taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they, shall, they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you, when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Canada is the land of indigenous people and immigrants. Some of us have been foreign, first generation immigrants. Others have had our ancestors come as far back as three, 400 years ago. And so when I sing the national anthem, I say our home on native land. Our first reading from Isaiah speaks about the foreigner. He says, a foreigner is welcome if he loves the name of the Lord, if he serves the Lord, if he keeps the Sabbath, if he keeps the covenant. Then he will be allowed to go and be included not only into the people, but allowed to offer sacrifices on the altar of the Lord. If we are not indigenous or belong to the First Nations, as I said, we are very much like the foreigner in Isaiah. We have come to this land because we hope for a better way of life. We hope and we dream for a more peaceful way of life. We respect our flag, the red and white. We are proud of the maple syrup and poutine and the maple leaf. We are proud of the Stanley Cup, which is a foreigner to Canada for so many decades. And so we rejoice. What do we rejoice in? We rejoice in the fact that either we or our ancestors came to this land with a sense of, like the foreigner in Isaiah, to keep the laws of this land, to respect its traditions and its cultures, but most especially with a very strong work ethic. Now, there will always be exceptions to this. 
Now, whether the third and fourth generation also keeps to this, only experience and observation will tell us. But we come over here because we realize that there is something about this land. And when we sing, we stand on God for thee, I begin to realize that we've got something really proud to, be, to, to, to celebrate. Whether it's the Avalon Peninsula or the Bay of Fundy, whether it's Cape Breton Island or the rich soil of PEI, whether it's the majestic St. Lawrence River or our Niagara Falls, whether it's the wonderful plains of Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, whether it is the Haida Gwaii, or formerly known as Prince Charlotte Island, we need to be celebrating this and we need to sing proudly, we stand on God for thee. But there is a message over here behind all this beautiful phrase and the speaks and, this, uh, and the lesson from Isaiah. Namely, that all of us are foreigners, whether we are native or whether we are new immigrants. As the late Jim Reeves would sing, this land is not my home. I'm only passing through. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? Sometimes we wonder whether heaven will be anything better than what we are experiencing here today, experiencing the beauty of this land. But as Jesus said, no eye has seen nor ear has heard what God has prepared for those who love him. Like the foreigner in Isaiah's reading, a person who loves the name of the Lord, who serves the Lord, who keeps the covenant, who keeps the commandments. And that's what you and I do. The health of our country lies in the fact that we have a relationship with one another. And that is what Isaiah is speaking about, not only a relationship with God, but a relationship with one another. Our culture, our tradition, our country will grow when we have a good health system, when we keep the family as the unit of our society, where we care for the weak and the marginalized, and the strength of our country will only be there in the way we respect the elderly, we care for our children, and we speak for those who do not have a voice in our country today. We are only as strong as the weakest link that exists among us. And so you and I have to judge. When we say we stand on God for thee, how do we treat them? And we find that flow plan in our gospel today as Jesus speaks about the Beatitudes. There are eight of them that we have read, but the ones that really mean something to me are blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are the pure of heart, blessed are the peacemakers, because this pretty well shows the foundation of how strong or how weak we are in the society in which we live in. Blessed are the poor in spirit not only means being not attached to the things that we have, but actually at times being physically able to share what you and I consider are, are, are dear to us with people around us. Blessed are the pure, are pure of heart, speaks of an integrity where we learn to respect and, uh, and, and praise the goodness that we see in others, not use them as rivals, but work together for the good, not only of ourselves, not only for our country, but for this home that the Lord has given us. And blessed are the peacemakers. We have seen enough of violence and stabbings and murders all around us. These are the land, this, this is the floor pan that God gives us in the Beatitudes. And you and I cannot do better than to embrace it with all our hearts and to live it out in our lives. God bless you all. Join me now as we pray together. For all those list listed in the daily televised mass prayer intention book, for all of them and their intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord 
for our community prayer this month is for those who feel isolated and alone. May God calm their fears and lead them to peace. We pray to the Lord. For the grace to be faithful to the Beatitudes that we just listened, especially the pure in heart, the poor in spirit, and peacemakers, we pray to the Lord. Lord for our Holy Catholic Church, for Pope Francis, and for all the bishops, priests, deacons that seek for holiness as they lead us in that path of life, we pray to the Lord. God, our creator and guardian of our homes, source of all blessings, you delight in the happiness of your people. Hear our prayers that we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God, forever. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, be pleased to accept these gifts that we offer to you with humble and with contrite hearts. Thank you. Pray, my sisters, my brothers, that this our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands in the praise and glory of God's name for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. As we present our offerings in your sight, O Lord, send down your blessings upon this land and its people, that our voices may always sound your praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through your word and your spirit, you called all things into being, that your love might be reflected in the vastness of the universe, in the bounty of land and sea, and in the diversity of the people who bear your image. Yet your gifts of nature did not exhaust your goodness, for in the fullness of love, for the fullness of your love was only revealed when you sent your only begotten Son for our salvation and poured out your Spirit to gather us into one as your own. Therefore, with the great company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Francis our Bishop, the bishops across Canada, all the clergy, and this entire people of God. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of this your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Wherever you are, share with one another a sign of this peace and friendship. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us and all our dear ones unto life everlasting.
Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, who never ceased to renew your people with the bread of life, fill us, we pray, with a very strong and, and selfless love that we may ever seek reconciliation and justice among all cultures, races, and nations through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been celebrated. Let us continue to love and serve one another. Thanks be to God. And would you join me now as we stand and sing our national anthem? <laughs> <laughs> 